but we're going to do a real fun sports logo. Now, I'm just going to do sports because I think it's hilarious, but you guys could really add whatever uh, either brand or your team name or your city name, however you guys want to do it. Uh, it will really work out. It will just kind of give you the concept of kind of the cursive into the little, uh, little line underneath it. So I'm just going to type in sports. I'm using a 5x5 five five CMYK format, but really anything will work depending on how you guys want this to come out. I'm going to give you the link to the mission script fonts, and that'll be the font that we're going to be using. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, there's some parts of the mission script font that I'm not a giant fan of. Uh, there's some little uh, kind of bumps and bruises, especially in the S that I do want to get rid of, and then there's the part on the uh, lowercase s that I want to kind of fix and kind of clean up a bit. So that big giant rounded swoop at the top of the lowercase s is uh, not what I'm looking for. So uh, once I have the signs that I'm looking for, I want to right click and do create outlines. I can also select everything and just do object expand, and that will work uh, quite well for what we're looking for. Next, I'm going to be coming in, and I just want to kind of fatten up some of these lines a bit. You're going to notice that there's some extra anchor points up at the top, and I'm just going to use the subtract pen tool and the delete anchor point to get rid of those lines, and I'm using my direct selection tool to come back and just kind of clean up those edges. All right, let's get rid of the two anchor points at the top. I'm going to use my direct arrow. Keep in mind that's just our A, so you're going to be notice that my cursor bounces back and forth. So just be uh, kind of aware that the minus will go to the delete anchor point. And if I just click A on my keyboard, that'll go right to our direct selection tool. Okay, I'm just kind of verifying what I'm looking for. All right, switch over to the pen tool. Now what I have right now is, I'm just going to switch these two. I just want a black stroke, and I do not want to fill. And this is going to be the kind of going from the S down into the, the swoop underneath. So I click, I'm going to hit Alt or Option so I can drag back on itself. And I just want a nice clean swoop. Now I'm looking for this to kind of go right into that little uh, crease of the P. I just want a nice kind of smooth curve all the way through. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of up the, just upping our stroke. And what I'm really looking for is that corner over by the S. So the bottom underneath it, I'm going to be modifying all of that and just expanding everything. But I just want to make sure that the kind of the line of the stroke is actually kind of pretty similar to the rest of the uh, rest of the font. Okay. So I did do object expand, and I am coming in, and I just deleted some of those bottom anchor points, so I have just two. So this is where I can start to modify the size and or shape. Okay, again, I've got my direct selection tool. Just click on A, so I can modify these points. And I want this curvature to be pretty even, and I also want this bottom part of the uh, sports to be pretty even and equal through the middle. So that's kind of what I am looking for in modifying. Next little thing I'm going to be looking at is this angle to the P. I want that to be pretty similar. Once I start adding strokes, I might have to modify that later, but for right now, I'm just kind of seeing if the kind of swoop is what I'm looking for. And I want to see that S, if that blends nicely. Okay. Let's select all. Okay, I'm selecting it. I'm going to go to Pathfinder. And I'm going to go Unite. So now this is all one big shape. And now I can start adding strokes onto just our uh, our shapes here. Okay, so up at the top, let's just do a gray. 
I'm gonna go over to the stroke panel and I wanna click outside. So right now it was the stroke was going on the inside. I wanna make sure that that goes on to the outside. You're gonna notice it's the third little box over. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm just gonna switch this over. I want white fonts. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm just going to copy and paste this over. I'm just going to go copy, paste behind. I'm just looking to have a, or you can keep in mind, you can just duplicate the layer as well, however you guys want to do it. And now we are going to be adding our outside. So we're going to do a little offset path, and then we're going to start to uh, do a little fill. So... I'm going to come up to the top, go to path, go to offset path, and this is where you're going to be previewing. So this is just kind of bouncing back and forth. So you might need to preview this a bit. And as long as you can kind of see some of those edges, that could be a lot fatter if you wanted it to be. Really just kind of depends on kind of the look you're going for. All right. Now notice I am on the bottom layer, bottom layer. And I'm just filling in kind of some of these little gaps. So I want there to be a black underneath my font. So I'm just using the blob brush. Notice that it is the blob brush and not the regular brush. I'm just filling in any of these little gaps here. Okay, and since I'm drawing below my initial white lettering, then I'm not affecting my top layer. So my initial stroke and my initial white are not being affected by it. I'm going to come over to my black arrow, select everything. Let's unite with Pathfinder. I'm going to get that little stray mark. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, some of you might want to just play around with how much uh, the offset path is. So you could go a whole lot more with it. Just kind of see what's going on. Uh, also notice that I did add a, another stroke to the outside of the uh, the offset path. So if you wanted kind of a two strokes, or if you wanted to simplify it, you could do that too. But I do have another stroke on the outside. Okay. Executive decision was made. I want it to be fatter on the outside. So all I did is get rid of that stroke, <laughs> and now I'm just basically adding some more thickness to it. So again, come back to Pathfinder. That was just my executive decision going through it. Okay, looks pretty good. Only little last little tidbit is that S, and I'm going to come back in, and uh, I want to just clean up that little S part. Again, I'm on the bottom layer. I know the layers window is not there, but I'm on the bottom layer, and I'm just dealing with my offset stroke at this point in time. Okay, just added another gray stroke. All right, let's zoom in. That's my last little pet peeve right now is on that S. I'm just going to modify these two points, and I think we're going to be pretty good at that point. Now, depending on what word you've selected to do this, this could be just kind of uh, how the edge is. So as it kind of swoops back, the SP, how that is being affected. Keep in mind, if you did not have a uh, P, it could go just directly back to the S. But it's kind of fun. Uh, just save up, and you guys are good to go. Sports!